next matchup is actually set to go, so we're going to dive on in. Uh, didn't get that much downtime at all, did we? And we go, go, go today as the challenger is Spirit. The red Terran in the bottom right. It's up against the blue Zerg in the top left. It is Basilisk's Raynor. We get into another map of today's OSC King of the Hill. Thank you so much, Twitch Just Benny, for the Prime sub as well. Came in just as we went to break for a little bit. There's our Overlord. We'll head down to the bottom right hand side. And away we go. So the Obi heading down that bottom right side for the moment. A couple of drones coming about, hatchery coming through. Forward heading down the bottom again. And then center coming through. Getting set to rumble. It's going to be having our styles of CC and Iraqs continue up. And again, Hatch Gas Pool coming in as well. It's going to be having our OV heading down the bottom right. Alright, couple gases. On the way up from Spirit, of course. I mean, he opens with that CC first into the barracks follow-up and then double gas, so... Just playing a little greedy. Choosing Grasvang, great map to play a split map. Long TVZ on, if you can get to that point. Easy coming up, Reaper coming in. Again, clean, couple of drones, bit of everything coming through. Have this overworld approach in the front where this command center is about to finish up. So we'll get that completed. Get that on the way in. Double orbital on the way through. Again, there's the factory coming up now as well in the main base. So we get that started. So factory will get going. Reaper coming by. Again, just our overworld coming back across. Couple of drones, queens, everything all coming through. As we get our queen continuing to produce. So queens popping out. Overlord chilling in the center. And of course, with Spirit, you may see a little bit of a passive game here. It may take a little while to truly get set up. And a couple of SCVs coming around. So you see the reactor and everything going through. The Queen's on the way as well. Our Reaper just chilling out in the center. Again, Spirit's just got no reason to go play aggressively. He's played CC first. And so we're just going to reach on again. A couple more Hellions coming by as well. And a few more drones coming through. Just going to be seeing our queens chilling out also. Speed is on its way in. And again, just another Reaper of Spirits starting to move out onto the... Move across the map. So again, Reaper and two Hellions heading up to the top left. More Hellions, a Banshee on the way out. CC and a Tech Lab all coming by. I mean, we are going to get the cloak. I guess still poking forward. Queens will be then. Just going to poke about a little bit. And Link's feet is about to finish. We've got ourselves Vanch Cloaking coming up. Stimpack coming through. And we'll see again. Just going to see that bio play. Just really utilizing the Hellion Banshee to kind of get set up initially. Raynor playing into double Evo. He's not afraid just yet. A couple of Hellions will begin to go through and picking off a couple of creep tumors already. So grabbing those straight away. And the extra backs, the engineering base coming up, CCs, drones, links. 
Fit and everything continuing through. Those Marines are going to go nibbling at the Overlord. Marines will grab the OV. Overlords all spreading about, and we just have ourselves again a few Hellions and the Reaper in the center. Lair coming up in the main base. I mean, again, from Reno, it's everything just in terms of setting up into the macro game. While Spirit will serve with these Banshees to try and do some damage. So two Banshees gather. They're going to cloak. They're going to move forward. A Creep Tumor could go down immediately. No, no, we're not going to get it. Still got these Hellions moving through and just going to pick off a couple more Creep Tumors. So Creep in the center will go down. Game, those Banshees still firing away. A couple of drones dropping. Three workers going down. Going to look for the ba Queen as well then. Not quite going to find it just yet. And three drones again. Pop the Banshees will move forward. The Queens are there though. Banshees will get pushed away. It's going to get those Banshees pushed over the right hand side. So Banshees do get pushed out for the moment here. It's going to get chased away for now. Aliens, Marines, and a tank. He set up. We've got an Overlord here in the center. Spirit still wants to just push forwards. 68 workers, more barracks on the way out. He's going to drop a 4th CC as well. That's what I was really wondering about. Are we going to see that 4th? Aliens and Marines all still joining. We've got our units still pressing forwards. Gonna see an Overlord backing it up. One more upgrade in the combat shield coming about as well. Marines will continue to press through as we're just gonna be seeing our Queen's taking damage. Gonna jump onto a couple more drones once again. Another lane gets picked off. Bane's still coming by. And we are gonna see the hatchery going down. So Reno loses out on a base and. Well, Spirit's position here is good. He's going to drop up into the main as well. Into the main base we had. Just going to see this other medevac coming through the bottom. Medevac's trying to boost through. Just going to be seeing again the 2-2 on both sides of the map. Marines will be unloading, tanks will be firing, still a few Banes moving about as well. I'm just going to be seeing that Ling Bane moving forwards. So Marines are going to try and jump in the corner. It's a good getaway, right? That's going to save you a little bit of uh, these Marines that would have gone down anyways, so good save. Marines are going to go unload in the corner. Just going to have Banshees in the bottom left trying to deny this base as well. Reno after losing this base out in the front definitely puts him into a little bit of a struggling position. Marines lift up again. Just going to back it up. Hatchery in the bottom left goes down. Some more lings. You're going to come up here with the mutas now out. We're going to be able to chase these medevacs at least. So now you can guarantee yourself a few more kills. So mutas may be something of a saving grace here for Reynor. Medivac still boosting away. We do have one, two, two upgrades still coming in. The flyer attack upgrade coming by as well. More Marines, tanks, Medivacs gathering up in the center. But they're firing up. Let me just take some damage. We rejoin once more in the center. And let's just have ourselves. I mean, Spirit able to take the four bases. This is why Grezvan's so good for a Terran as well. Just four bases, taking control of the middle of the map with this fourth base as well. Marines and tanks still pressing through to the middle. It's a little bit bio going to get grabbed. Still Ling being muted up to the top. Going to be seeing a few of those Marines getting lifted off and escaping away.
Marines and Marauders back down the bottom, chilling up on the medevacs. We are going to see the tanks on siege. That could have been an opportunity there for Raynor. Now he's uh, going to actually get caught by that tank splash damage because he didn't know the tanks were there because they were on siege before. And this position for Spirit actually gets a little bit better. Some of the Banshees will go down, unfortunately. They're left with the Queens for a couple of moments. Oh, yeah, still going to sit there. A couple of Queens going down. Just going to dive on forward more. These Queens getting picked away at. And still running through the Lings chasing the Marines going down. Again, Burrow and Lings and the Hive still everything on the way. We do have Muters on the other side though, and they're getting a lot of SCV, so that's where Reyna was able to backstab, able to find some good damage. So we'll do very well there as these few Marines dropping into this mineral line. And so fighting the few extra Lings coming through, the Muters escape up the right side, Marines in a tank. That's Thor as well, coming across there to try and fight a little further. Tanks and Marines still firing up, extractors are taking shots. We're well, gonna see the mutas are gonna fly through and a few SCVs are going down once again. That's now seven SCVs, 13 drones being killed, the ghost sniping away. Marines is going to try and drop on this base. This position in the center taken once again, but can Reynold deny it this time? Lings and Banes come rolling in from a couple of angles. Good medevac evacuation. A lot of the Banes will die before we clean up, and that's going to be a big part of the problem. If you don't have enough Banes left over, the Marines will survive this. The Mutas were not part of the fight. There's definitely moments there. Wow, is that Burrowed Bane Lings? That's amazing. Um, there's definitely part of this fight where the Marines probably could have had some free reign. Said so they're going to stay across the map, trying to keep the harassment up for the moment instead. Against on the left side, gonna get picked off. The meters back on the right, still looking for more openings, more opportunities. Immediately onto this mineral line where we find a few more SCVs. Obviously, ghosts are coming out, so the tech has increased here from spirit. The CC will be placed by a force moving again from base to base. Man, very comfortable five base setup. Reno takes again a good chunk of his side of the map, but that was a challenge. Trading well enough on Grezvan. I guess we will see. It will go down once again. Still muters in the upper side of the map. Muters, overseers all gathering together. Plus three armor upgrade is about to finish as we still have more missile turrets on the way as well. Grab the CC. Just gonna build another one down. Another CC gonna get set up. Of course, this is what Spirit does. This is his natural habitat. Later macro split map games. This is what Spirit loves through and through. I see these things dropping in over here. I'm gonna go after Marauder and miss our turrets and more. Ghost Snipe break after losing vision. There's a range at which Ghost Snipe disappears. I think if you lose vision, it's very hard to lose vision without it just being out of range anyways nowadays, as far as I'm aware. There's a, there's a range at which the units just kind of lose their snipe now. So It used to be if you lost vision, but if you had to scan, it would always connect. Valiance is going to unload in the center. Meters are going to hang out in the upper right instead. Libs, ghosts coming through. Lots of bandlings all coming about. Plus two flare attack. Agnes playing coming up. Again, mauling, bane all gathering up. So bane's continue to come about. And the extra one's morphing in, getting ready to rumble. Man, 
are going to roll on through. We do see Mutas getting sniped on the right side. Reyna was doing a good job of throwing himself at his opponent and getting rid of a lot of the SCVs. Extreme Ultras, that kindness playing coming through. A lot of everything rotating back down to the south here. Things and all just coming by. Bunch more creep on the way through. Thanks, Libs. Continue to come up. Advanced Ballistics on the way. We are going to see those couple Libs sieged. Ghost and Bio comes back around the right side. Oh, moving in with everything also. A lot of Lin Bane Ultra moving through the center. You can see a couple tanks getting grabbed immediately. Just gonna be seeing our Bane still moving through. Nine SCVs dropping at the moment. Libra is setting up. The Bane's still moving forwards. The Ultra is gonna be taking a few shots of damage as well. And Marauder's firing away. Moreno has so much money though. And Spirit just doesn't have the rebuild time and time again to just keep on going. There's not enough anti-air. These mirrors are gonna have a good time. They don't quite kill that Thor off, but it can absolutely be annoying. With that, so we'll go after the refinery. He's going to go for the sense tower, the supply depot. And ship weapons is going to be coming up on that armory as well, so we get that going. And again, more bio ghost medevac libs. But everything's still coming through as our liberators will continue to siege. Get set up for the moment here. I mean, obviously, this is the problem for Reno. You still have to break through the defensive madness that is Spirit's setup at the moment. I'm right, just going to stand up. Fuelings down the bottom. Couple tanks going through. Just going to get those picked off already, as we do have again a couple more vests coming out as well. Uh, still showing up. A couple more creep gym is being picked off. Corruptors and Festus all on the way through right now. Mutas dive by. I'm just going to find a message tank. I mean, these mutas long term don't have a lot of value, but if they can pick off snipes like, you know, tanks like this, for example, and still cause trouble, then it's still worthwhile for the moment. So that's the big deal at the moment. will dive through. I'm just going to go grabbing that. A ghost. A couple of these marines getting chased back as well. Maybe having our mutas coming by. Going to get rid of the missile turret. A couple of libs are going to go chasing. Still going to have the rest of the bio fight and the ghosts gathering together. Again, plus one flag. Carapace is halfway done. The extractors all still coming through. Libs, ghosts, bio tanks. A little bit of everything setting up across the right side. We still have a little bit of Ling Ultra over here as well. Chilling on the left. The Muta's coming by. Missiles. Uh, turrets are going to try and protect these siege tanks as a couple of them will drop. Ghost coming over. Tank is going to get picked off. The Ghosts are still getting over here as the Mutas get chased away. There's two ship weapons is on the way through. The Ghosts, the Tanks, the Command Centers. All building as well as the CC will drop to 12 o'clock now. a chunk of mules and that's the thing from spirit you can drop down mules every time and get an influx of income but reno has 12k almost 13k minerals and 5,000 gas banked up for now it's a crazy amount of money available to him all them spores and spines still coming through so you see the building up meters are going to fire I mean, again it's not a bad thing to see these meters on their final leg starting to finally drop down
Rolling's gonna go out down to the bottom. Things are gonna dive through, gonna go after the set of rocks. Five are gonna come back over, libs and fours and goes to get everything all set up. It's gonna be seen a little bit of a stim forward. I mean, it just struggled to see Spirit getting enough. I mean, he's obviously built up a bit of a bank of game. He's got a long way to go, though, and he needs to stop one of these bases from mining. He can't let Reno mine a whole base over him. I see he's feeling, still wanting to come through. Spore going to get set up for a moment. Yeah, still firing it up. And you have ourselves the Broods coming out as well, so that's going to give you the Brood Lords to play with as well. Nice little bonus. Again, all those extra ghosts coming about. This game progresses later and later here. 22 minutes. We already had Gerald Reynold was a long -er game today, and now Reynold Spirit is taking up some time as well, so... It's a fun one so far. Yes, few Marauders and Marines going to knock away the spore on the bottom side. Going to make it a double kill. No, not quite. The Broodlords will make a bit of a stance then. Raynor definitely ready to engage into the latter stages of this if needed. All factories coming up with the Ghost Building as well. Another four is on the way out. Now Broods are still gathered. Liberator sieging across the front of this orbital. Tank's actually knocking down the uh, missile turret there too, just opening up this space. Let's kind of battle a little bit, just going to be having our brood lords and festers all gathered up and ready to maybe try and push a little further forward. And you're trying to play the game on two sides right now. You're playing it on the bottom and the top. Both these bases, ideally, as Rain will get mined out as much as possible. Spirit really needs to stop one of these bases from mining and then probably mine it himself to have success here. It's a lot of bio units. I mean, this is a lot of forces, and I'm not sure we actually have enough here as uh, Reynold to hold. He's got a lot on the bottom, though. This could be a moment for him to move forward here a little bit, but the defensive setup on the bottom is kind of huge on both sides, so Spirit definitely getting a bit of leverage now. He actually moves in with the creep spread to Reynold, and he's going to get rid of the Marines. The Ultras will just be sent through, but they're going to do very well for themselves. This is honestly not a bad trade. He pushes forwards on the bottom at the same time. Reynold loses a lot. So does Spirit. To rebuild available, but only 4,000 gas. Maybe the biggest problem of all for Raynor, which is, does he actually have a way to kind of get through all of these minerals effectively? Efficient trades with minerals is a problem. That's why queens are made a lot late game. That's why you see a lot of lings being made now. Using these lings while you have other units to make the lings better is much better than spending all of your gas and then only building lings forever more at the end of the game when they're not going to do anything on their own accord, right? So that's kind of the, the big question mark up in the skies for the moment. That ghost come back over. And the Vex is going to sit chilling with these. And the Broodlord's still making progress over here. As you see, Spore's trying to push forward as well. A little bit of progress over here as the Odal is going to have to get lifted off. Ghost still firing it up. And you have again a few fours. The Vikings continue to come about for the moment. Again, Broods are still building. We do have ourselves the Liberator and a tank. Continue to kill them through. Thank God to grab. He's going to be seeing the fungals getting caught up there. This Liberator set up getting set as well. Again, a few more infestors coming about. Our Thor, our Hellbats, all producing by as well. Just for the moment. Corruptor and Fest is still building. No, we're pretty much running out of gas as Raynor. How much gas is left for Spirit? He's got 3,000 gas here. I mean, Spirit, okay, Raynor has 3,000 gas here as well. He's not out of gas. He just doesn't have a lot of it banked up. Okay, so he actually does still have reasonable gas income available to him. So that's pretty important to note. Vikings are there pushing back the Overseers. 
lose this base, but uh, I mean, obviously, then in this case, the, these gases are super important because you really need these gases in order to mine, you know, the rest of the gas you're going to need. That's why Reynolds going to instantly rebuild a hatch here. At least it looked like he was. Spirit just having still gas available. He's actually got 1,500 gas here on this base, too. There is actually still just in general a fair gun. Oh my god, Reynolds got gases here. He's got 5k gas to mine from this bottom left base. He really needs to notice that because right now his gas income is genuinely... It's not terrible. It's not end of the world territory, but it's not in a great spot. He could really do with having more gas income. And to have these gases available, fully available to mine... I mean, he's in no rush in a way because that's a base he should have forever, but... It is a factor as we try and take this expansion for ourselves as spirit. A lot of the minerals and gas gone on it, but... Another base to work with will make this more of a challenge. And he needs to get uh, the, just the gases taken there. I don't mind so much about the minerals not mining. But yeah, that's going to be a very important place for him to kind of look to at some point in this game. A couple of liberate shots will hold off for the moment. We're still moving about. These small crawls are going to head forward as well. Just going to be setting up. Animal Gross trying to come through. Reynold really needs this spell casting to go decently as he's trying to keep his Broodlord safe from the Thors. Still trying to keep himself safe from the Snipes as well. Broodlings continue to come down. Those Hellbats will absolutely roast through a group of Broodlings also. A little bit more gained over there. That's those ghosts again going to be in position, knocking down a little bit. We continue to press forwards. As we come through, going to get a bit more creep spread to being knocked away at. We have ourselves again. This army continue to just push on in. This uh, hatchery is going to be in some trouble. Well, this is a base that Reno really needed. I mean, again, 1500 gassy. I mean, to be fair, I mean, if he takes this base back, then this is fine. But he does get pushed away. Raynor now no gas in the bank. Please, Raynor, look at this bottom left-hand base, right? I mean, this is so important for him. Spirit is the one with all of the money in the bank right now. It's hard to really see Raynor turning this around and, and suddenly taking the big fight. But we've seen this plenty of times where it feels like the Zerg is finally pushed back and they just managed to hold on in for that little while longer. So don't say it's over till a GG hits the board. Reynold just sent drones to the bottom left, by the way. I mean, again, if he just knows is that he can take gases here. He has 5k. I mean, like I say, he's still mining gas here. He gets gas back up over here. The biggest difference is that this is just a constant income of gas because it's not going to be a base that gets denied for a long time. Oh, these lings are going to find a way into some Hellions and a tank. As Spirit went to focus on the top side, Reynold just comes straight through, looks to punish this position. Well, obviously, we still got some minerals off of the mules, but we will lose all of that, SCVs included. And Reno makes some use of the lings again. That's why it's nice to have the lings. Having them make use throughout is almost always a good thing. Let's see ghosts on to hit away at the hatchery, so damage being done. Hatchery taking some shots. Will indeed go down. More Hellions and the Liberator still popping out. We have got Broods, Infestors, Ling Bing, Corruptor, Vipers, all set up on the left-hand side. The Hellions on the bottom. And they morph into Hellbats. Yeah, we're going to start whacking away at this hatchery as well. Resources lost 40k to 62k. It's a massive difference as we continue to scrap over these final bases. It's that mining that will really be the deciding factor. Uh, you know, honestly, Hellions slash Hellbats... Uh, you know, great trading units, but even those do cost uh, those do cost minerals, right? So it is a price you have to pay to some extent. So Spirit but man, his army is so good. Thor Liberator Ghost. It's kind of the dream army. It's what you want to end up on when you get yourself into one of these long TVZs. There's never the guarantee you last long enough to get there, right? But in this case, it seems like we will as you morph in more Banes. Reynold flinging himself to the top side. After so many of the bigger fights really being focused around the bottom of the map, now we're going to focus around the top of the map. As this CC has to lift off and back away for the moment. Yeah, 
Now we keep this base from mining, but at the same time, we've also got this base that's going to try and mine as well. Both players making their attempts to take these next locations. Right now, you're going to go a bit more through the middle of the map. I mean, that's something that Spirit can absolutely rotate around and deal with. Stag defense going to make it difficult for Reno to find the jump on into these positions. Not a lot of splash damage if the Bane just kind of roll for it. Maybe this would not be so bad. Parasitic Bomb comes down. We're going to see some fungals as well. I mean, a bit of everything, really. The Banelings need to find some mega damage, though. And, well, we're kind of actually getting there. Some snipes coming through at the end. The Broodlords have to step back. We just didn't have quite enough there. Now we've got Ling Ultra on the way. A few Corruptors maybe needed extra as well as these Liberators. It's going to chase down those Broodlords. The Broodlords are all clumped. Oh, my God, the Broodlords. There's like 12 Broodlords just get disintegrated. By the Liberators, the Lings that are going to stream through are surely not enough against those ghosts. As the Liberators went unanswered, game is called and Spirit will take Raynor down and will stop him and will make it. A GG. Spirit will knock Raynor down. Raynor will not go on some crazy.